Yo, we're going to be breaking down how the Cosmos song was made. Let's get into it. The song that Cockbuck uses, or Cosmos, I don't care man, is the Axios Gig remix of Sleeping Hummingbird London. He sampled the original song, gave it some trap elements with Witch House production, and this is exactly what we're going to do now. And how we're going to use this sample is we're going to pitch up two semitones. The first thing we're going to add is some EQ, cutting out all of the highs and the lows that are not necessary. And just to get rid of the muddiness, we don't want that in the song. It sounds like this. Adding more EQ, boosting up the low mids and boosting up the highs too. Adding some reverb. Adding more reverb here, adding a compressor so there's no harsh frequencies that cut in the mix. And some delay using Echo Boy. I'll explain why this is important at the end of the video. That's what it does basically. And this particular part of the song goes at the end. So when the, when the wave's done and all this like, intense gameplay, it plays this part here. as well as all the other drums, which we're going to break down in a second. The intro actually uses this part here, just like 1 minute 20 seconds into the song. Yeah, that's the sample. There is another part that we're going to use over here, but I will break it down when we come to the second half of the song. In the intro itself, we're using a sub bass here, so it's going to sound like, sound like this with the sample. And you can back this up by going to the EQ of the original song, just playing it over here. You can see those two frequencies over here. Compared it to the sub bass here. Matches perfectly. And for the second bass over here. And we're playing this pattern here. And we're just going to quantize it here. And this is an atmospheric bass from Serum here. And I'll show you how to do this from scratch. This is for like any Witch House atmospheric bass. It's really simple to program and I'll show you how to do it now. Firstly, put the octave down like minus two. You just leave it to its default and put the unison up to nine. Leave the detune, leave the blend. We only really want the level to go up here. And then for also to B, put the octave minus one. Put the unison up to 16 here. Put the detune to around like 40. And that's it also to was. We'll put some noise over here. It doesn't matter what noise you need. I like to use like AC hum two over here put the piano section on and we're gonna add a filter so it sounds like this before the filter so we're gonna add an mg low 12 and we're gonna add a cutoff of 740 this is applies to both oscillator a and b we want the level of the noise just to go down a bit after hearing that we put the porter to like 88 milliseconds here go to fx add some distortion put the setting to tape saturation here add some pre-distortion you want to put it to the highest it can go and you want to put the drive up to like 70 percent and leave the mix to 100 percent and it sounds like this now the hi-hats we have this pattern here
It's just a bunch of rolls and everything. I'm actually using the BWB Wave 4 hat, 14. And we're going to put some effects onto this. So firstly, we're adding some reverb. And then a stereo shaper. We're adding DS10 drum shaper too. And we're just putting up the sustain low in the attack. And putting the mojo just a bit down too. Putting the gain up as well. So adding a slight bit of phaser. Just with the mix gone to like 16, 15%. Adding some EQ. Cutting out the high mids here. Cutting out the high ends of the treble as well. This is without the effects. This is with the effects. And that's the hats for you guys. Next we've got the kick. The kick plays in various patterns here. It's really cut. It just varies. It really varies. I can't really play something for you, but this is what it sounds like. We're using the BW Wave 6 kick, 21. If we go to the original song here, and we compare the waveforms of the kick, increase the time base to around 960, so you can see the whole, all of it. You can see my CPU dying here, oh my gosh. And you compare the waveforms of the kick, matches very nicely there. Bam, 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 bam. Barely anything missed, so that's cool. So the kick is just playing a various pattern. We're going to be tuning it as well, up to D. And we're actually not side tuning the kick to the bass, as you can see. We're just leaving it how it is, and it's, it just gives that punch to the sound itself. Next we've got the snare i don't even think to myself that this is the correct snare but this is the closest thing i actually came to it we're using a bunch of different snares so we're using this bw wave snare 40 we're putting it down two and a half semitones we have the bw wave snare 53 we're putting it down three semitones and you're hearing that this is like part of the same this is like similar sounding snares we're just layering them just to add that sound and the last one we got this infamous snare here and it sounds like this without any effects Effects wise, we're going to be putting some parametric EQ, we're getting rid of that low end. Next we've got some parametric EQ as well, boosting up the highs like a lot. Finally, the most important plugin is DS10 Drum Shaper, and it sounds like this. What we're doing is we're boosting up the sustain all the way and we're lowering the attack all the way down, almost all the way down, putting the mojo up a little bit as well. And what this does, after the main part of the snare hits, it boosts the tail all the way up and it gets that airy sound that we want. But I'm still not sure this is the correct snare. If any of you have similar samples, if not the exact same sample used in the original song, then DM me. Next we've got some open hats playing in the track. This goes around the whole track, this sample here. And we're going to be toying with the velocities too, playing this pattern here. This is what we have now. And to break this down real quick, this is just a little perk sound and it sounds like this. And this is used at the start of the song. I'm sure you guys can listen to it. And we're putting these effects onto it. And it sounds like this now. We're adding some reverb here. We're automating a filter as well as a phaser over here. Future Park here. The open hat doesn't play in this section here. So it stops like, it starts before the final snare. That's another thing. And another thing I missed is that there's this little, another perk snare after the original one. So you just got this symbol hi-hat here. I'm just added some effects onto this, all of this here. I think there's nothing else missed after that. I'll be exporting this, putting it to the editor, and you'll see it in the video. Lol, goodbye. Altogether, the intro sounds like this. Next, we've got the synths and lead and the drop itself. This is a really, really, really like iffy part. Shout out to Parabolic Sounds as well. He is the big G sound designer. Without any effects and post-processing, the first lead sounds like this. And we're going to be playing this pattern here. I'm going to do a little quantizing thingy up, aka I'm just going to switch to the other pattern because I can't be bothered to do it. But this just plays for the first half of the song. I'm not breaking this down. I've, we've got too many leads to be breaking stuff down. Copy this, copy the effects, blah, 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 boom, boom, boom. There you go. We just added some EQ here, boosting up the mids and the highs. And that's about it for the first lead. The second lead we got here, we just get another, got another serum preset here. This is with the effects. We're just adding some EQ, cutting out the low and a bit of the highs. We added some pro reverb here from Fab Filter and putting the mix down to like 50. Next, what we got, we got a lead from Silent as well. We're adding some EQ again and we're also adding some reverb here. So it sounds like this in effect. Finally, we got another lead from Silent and it goes like this. What we're adding to this is some pro art and some limiter. Just boost the gain up more. So in effect, it sounds like this. Another part with the leads, what we did here with some of the leads, we rendered and replaced them to make them audio tracks. Took them down an octave and they sound like this in effect.
For the final Silent 3, we played it up one octave as well. And this just adds flavor to the main lead itself, making that sound more full and balanced. One other thing is that there's just a note playing an A. With all these synths, it just sounds like this. And that plays throughout the track. So yeah, we got all of these. That's the first half of the drop. For the second half, we're doing something a lot different. We're adding this main lead here from Powerbug Sounds. We're putting it down one octave and it sounds like this. We're also adding the main Telesynth lead from Silent as well. So compared with its different octaves, it sounds like this. Finally, we got this part of the song and it sounds like this. For the lead going to the end of the song, we're doing this pattern here. And for the hi-hats, we're playing this pattern here. We're switching it up to a really fast sound. And then we're adding some effects to apply to all of the leads here. So we're adding some stereo separation here. And then we're going to go to the effects, add some Ozone 10 Exciter, put it on Dual Triode, put the amount to 14, put the mix to about 25%, add some Half Time. It's really subtle, put it into an 8. Boosting the high mids and putting the compressor on there so the harsh frequencies don't really cut into the sound that much. All of them sound like this now, compared to without. And for the final part of the song, we're adding the first part of the sample into the end. So it sounds like this now. And that's what the delay does at the end for this guitar. It just transitions out very nicely without any sudden stop. And that is the end of the video for you guys. A response for the last video. I cannot make the vocals because I don't have any vocals to work with. And I am not using mine. If any of you want... What the hell? What just fell? Huh? If you guys want to volunteer as tribute and send me your vocals in, I'll happily work with them and show you how the vocal effect is done. Other than that, you're staying with the instrumental, bro. As well as for download links, they'll be in the Discord in my description. I might publish them in the future. If you want to check out my other work regarding music, be sure to click here for my production channel. And yeah, join the Discord down below.